myself. Hey. Remind me to never have Dave mix us cocktails again. with you. Then you can't have a refund. Because I've decorated the place and I put all the alcohol. And what am I supposed to do with 200 gourmet canapes? Look, mate, I, um... I'm sorry. So you should be. You told Mercedes about my psychosis. Yeah. I mean, do you know how bad that could have been? Luckily, we talked things through and, um... She was amazing. In actual fact, I have news. Monumental, earth-shattering, praise be to Jesus, good news. <laughs> I want to shout it from the rooftops. The amazing, the gorgeous, knockout Mercedes McQueen is going to be my wife. <laughs> hey, congratulations, Felix. Yeah, thanks, Don. Uh, yeah, nice one. Hey, you know what this calls for? A celebration. An engagement soiree, and it just so happens that I've had a cancellation for this afternoon. That's a great idea. Yeah? Uh, mm -hmm. And you're going to be free, right? Because, you know, you're going to be my best man. Who else am I going to ask, eh? Are you going to make me the happiest groom in the world by saying yes? <laughs> Look at us, eh? Just like old times. What, you having a cup of tea while I'm doing all the work? <laughs> hey, pass me a socket wrench, will you? A wrench? I hope you don't get confused like this when I ask for the rings. Look, this wedding... Are you sure about...? What, the engagement party being too soon? Now, that is what I said, but this one... Mm -hmm. oh, we insisted. What, am I so wrong that I want to spread the joyful news all over the world as soon as possible? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to get washed up, then we can go speak to Tony, because he keeps texting me about some canopies. You can have that. He can't find out about us. He will go back to that dark place. Is that what you really want? I knew it. You're only marrying Felix because you feel sorry for him. I love Felix. Me and you, it was just sex and not very good at that. You loved it, and you know it. Face it, Mercedes. We are both damaged goods. It's about time Felix really knew what you're like. If he finds out about us, it won't only be me that loses him. He will never forgive you. So, shall we, Mercedes? I don't suppose you mind closing up for me so I can slip into some dancing shoes. <laughs> of course. Come. Mm -hmm. Okay, little waiter actually. No, no, no. Very painful. Thank you, Tone. You have pulled this one out of the bag. Any mercy? Yeah, yeah, it's proper fancy. Why do the balloons say 80 on them? Well, it was booked as a surprise for somebody's great Aunt Ethel, but apparently she booked a trip to Greece with her 60 year old toy boy. Okay, so lots of randomers paid for this. Well, they should have checked that Ethel wasn't planning a Shirley Valentine before I started making all those canapes. In that case, cheers. <laughs> That's my fiance. I hope I'm not going to regret this, Mercedes. Me neither. No, I said I'd ring John Paul. You were meant to tell Nana. Yeah, well, he's going straight to voicemail. Bet she's probably already at bingo with that part. Anyway, please, Sally's come in. Oi, get stuck in. It's free. Woo! Yeah, napkins, people, please. Ooh. Felix has gone all out there. Oh, a bit of a shame, given the audience. Fierce. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I wish you both a happiness. No, you don't. Hey, you and your kids section closed. <laughs> what are you doing here? I told you not to call. Oh, there he is. Yeah, it took your time, didn't you? Yeah, sorry. I had a speech to write. You see, as your best man, there's a few things I'd like to say. See the mic there? Missed anything? Hey, it's not even started yet. I hope you're not gonna sing. <laughs>
I um, I just want to get a few things off my chest. There's something that I wanted to say. <laughs> How honoured I am to be your best man. And I just wanted to wish the happy couple all the best. Is that it? Maybe spend more time on the actual speech for a wedding. OK. All right, that's time to party. Oi. Thank you. I didn't do it for you. I did it for him. Stay out of my way, yeah? Oh, there you are. Surprise thing for Marlene. Uh, one word of advice. Never tell Nana that you think she's 80. No. This is our engagement party. It's a free bar, so come on, fill your boots. Oh, no, we don't want to do we? Uh, no, I had a lot to drink last night. OK, have a lemonade. But you told me to get my man. That's exactly what I did, so come on. Celebrate with us, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you want to get off somewhere quiet and have a chat, we can do. What? No. I'm having fun. <laughs> sure. Wait, Goldie? What? I thought it was a free bar. Well, it's all self-service. Thanks, Tone. We do have glasses, you know. The Queen's, eh? Yeah. Hey, do you know where your brother's got to? I'll tell you something, though. It'll be better on them debts than what Felix is. Um, he's working. Got a gig that he couldn't cancel. Still no Nana. Yeah, well, Nana is going to be fuming. She missed a free bar. And the chance to say congrats to the happy couple. Well, quite. Oh. <laughs> hey, looks like it's going to get messy in here, doesn't it? <laughs> Might need a beer after all. Do you think that's wise? What do you mean? Oh. I saw the pregnancy test in your bag earlier. Do you honestly think you might be? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Imagine that. Us parents make me a dad. Hmm. But you think you're jumping the gun a bit? No, I'm sorry, I just... I know I'm overstepping the mark, but I'm excited. Why not go to the bathroom? Find out for us. Yeah? Yeah. Good idea. Why? Hanging at me. Oh, no way. You're pregnant. <laughs> I guess it's a double celebration that. Or not. Oh, God. I can't. I can't be pregnant. I, I don't want another kid. You know, I, I, don't get me wrong, I love Daniel and I love Pez, but I just, I've just got my life back. You know, I, I'm me again. I can have spontaneous cocktail nights with Joel and. But I've just come back to the vice service and I'm doing great. I'm not ready to give all that up yet. Does that make me a bad person? No. No. Life is complicated. <sighs> when Joel finds out, he's going to be over the moon and then he's going to realise how I feel. Listen, nobody can tell you how to feel, OK? Right, um, th this, this could be wrong. <laughs> Have you got another one? We could... I've done two already. Oh. There's no point in doing the third one, is there? Because we both know what it's going to say. Maybe not. Then I will do a negative one for you. You show that to Joel. What? What do you mean? It'll buy you a bit of time to go through all the options with a doctor without the added pressure. Do you think that's a good idea? Uh, no. Got any better ideas?
you ever have one of them moments in life where you know something could just change it? Like that. More than you'll ever know, kid. There he is, my best man. Listen, you're missing all the killer tunes I'm playing in there, you know? Yeah, I'll leave the dancing to everyone else, thanks. No, you won't. I'm gonna get you inside there doing the carton bank before you know it. Let's go. All right, here's to the future and all the adventures. Thank you so much for doing this. Turns out I'm not going to be much help after all. <sighs> yeah. I'm pregnant. So to catch up on all the latest drama in the Hollyoaks Village, you need to click here to watch full episodes or here to get some little snippets of what's been going on. Do not forget to subscribe.